WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off this TFNN update. Tiles down 133 at 28,511. And as I mentioned on Friday, it was a good chance that we were making a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology where we go to the fourth highest peak, uh, alphabetized them A, B, C, D. The fourth highest peak is where we expect something else can happen. Well, we did get a sharp pullback, but I suspect there's a little bit more strength to come based on uh, a couple of factors, and I'll talk about that in my show. In the meantime, the S&P has done exactly the same thing, except it's at a peak C, and I'm still anticipating that there should. There's no reason why there shouldn't be a, um, a new leg D to the upside, just above the 32.40 point. Now, let me just double check if that was the correct one. 32.47.93 high of uh, Friday, the 27th. Uh, it should get close within or, or just freshly higher. And then I think we might be due for some kind of a pullback. Look at the QQQ, same thing. Index 100 gone, gone to a peak C. I think a leg D will start. What it has to do is go one penny above Friday's high. Friday's high was 214.56. Actually, it opened at 214.55 and then made a penny high and then pulled back. Interesting. All right. I do think that there's enough residual strength to try at least to get close to that, maybe making a fractional new high. IWM has made a peak D here, sharp move from the 167.12 high of Friday. The low today is 164.57. So um, that one also should see sideways move with attempts to go to the upside and then slowly we'll start to make lower lows. We'll see what happens. Gold is having a another a good day. It's up 0.3 at 15.18. It was down a little bit overnight. Now it's come back. It's in leg D in the weekly chart. I'll talk about this as soon as we get back for my show. And and what we'll talk about is this cup formation, how the 1526.1 uh, left side high of the 1st of November is so important. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar is really taking it on the chin. I was pretty sure that this was an aberration to the downside, a bad tick on um, the 25th, where the dollar went to 96.54. Well, we were close, and I said, funny how those bad ticks eventually pan out. Well, we're at 96.65, really close to taking that out. This is going to be a very important week for the dollar. I'll be back. We'll talk more about it, plus bonds, plus crude oil. Basil Chapman, Tiger Editions Hour, coming up on the 30th day of December with one more day to go for the end of the year, end of the market year as well.